Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you guys ever in your life, now let me prepare you for something. So let's hold that thought. I'm gonna prepare you for a dark scene so when it goes black in here, don't be like, what? So just be prepared. Guys, have you ever walked into a garage or a house or apartment and this happened to you? Oh man, where in the heck's all the lights at? I can't see nothing. What the? What the? What in the heck? You fumble around until you find the switch. Guys, has that ever happened to you? Well, I'm going to show you a trick that is so simple and so cheap to do that you guys are going to be like, why the hell didn't I think about that? Nothing is worse than going into a garage or to a house or apartment or a building or whatever trying to find the light switch. Now most switches I know you're going to say, well aren't most switches right at the door? That is true. But what if you come into a garage and there's no light? You have to walk all the way to the one side just to get the light switch, right? So I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool. All right, so this is a typical scene right here. Now, this is a video that I just did. Now guys, if you are interested in learning how to wire up a three-way, four-way, three-way, check right up there in the corner. Right there in that corner. All right, because I'm going to link a video for this right here. Super easy. All right, so on to the video. Now, first of all, we want to make sure the power's off. Now, we see that the light bulb is not on, right? So we know that the power's off. So what we're going to do is we're going to install these right here. These are lighted three ways. Now, how does that work? Well, I'm going to show you guys. There are some switches like this that require a neutral. I purposely bought these that does not require a neutral. Let me show you guys how easy this is to replace. All right. So, with power off, we make sure, all right, we want to make sure, check with our tick tracer if we have one, our induction tester, which I don't have one right now because I already know this is loose because there's the main power coming in. All right, so this is a three-way, all right? So we're gonna, we know this is a three-way. Now, how do you know it's a three-way for sure? Well, let's bust it open and let me show you real quick, just in case you didn't know. All right, so three-way would have three of these terminals on it and a ground, of course. All right. Now, I've told you guys in the past that on my three-way videos, it doesn't matter which way you put the switch in, whatever. But these, right there it says, top. All right, so these, it matters. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make sure the power's off, which we did. Secondly, we're gonna take the switches out of the wall. Now listen, guys, it's very important that you keep the wires so you know where they go back. Because if you don't, and you get all cattywampus and you try to turn them on and they don't work. Well, I got a video for that too, for three ways. Not for the four way yet, but for the three way. And I'll link that video right here, okay? If you get them confused and you can't figure it out, my suggestion to you guys is to take one screw off. Like if you take the, this color right here, this dark brown colored one, if you take that off, put the wire back right on it. If you take the next one off, put the wire on it and so forth. Now the travelers don't matter, but this one is the one that matters the most, the common, okay? That is your, either your switch or your hot, no matter what. All right, so everything that you see in this video, whether it be the switches, any of the tools I'm using, will all be linked down below to an Amazon link. If you decide to buy through my link, it only helps my channel grow, guys, and I can invest more and do more of these videos for you guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera real close here, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about with these switches and how to put them on. So come on close. Come on, come on. All right, so we do know the power's off. Now, believe me when I tell you the power's off because I assured you, right? It's very important that you put the wires back the way that they are, all right? All right, it's very important that we keep the wires where they go. So we're gonna do the grounds first. Go ahead and take the grounds loose. Now, the way that this light on this three-way is going to work is very simple, all right? It's going to be that it works basically off the ground. All right, so I'm gonna take the common off and the ground off very first thing. I'll leave the two travelers on now so I don't get confused. All right, we wanna put this on. All right, you see how that is? I don't like that. So what we're gonna to have to do the very first thing is we're gonna take our little strippers here and we are going to squeeze it down so it's very tight on there. And we're going to tighten her up. 
Now, there was a question before. While I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you. There was a question before. Now, we know this is the common, or we do know it's either a switch or the hot. But it goes on the common, because that's what we took it off of, right? All right. There was a question before about why don't I tape my joints and stuff like that. Well, first of all, it's not code. Secondly, I don't prefer it uh, where I work. They are kind of mandatory, so we do it there. But I don't prefer it. It's just, to me, preference. Just like putting two of the blacks on the same side and the opposite color on the opposite side. That's just what I do. There's no right or wrong on that. The only thing with the lighter switch is there is a up for sure on this one, as you see. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing. And a lot of people, even the electricians I work with, when I tell them I don't, in residential like this, and I tell them that I do not tape the joints, I don't think that they approve of that, but you know, there's really no code. And really, the only reason is, sure, if you grab it like that, you're gonna get shocked with tape. It's, chances are very slim, but why would you even grab a switch or whatever like that anyway? Okay, so you see, this is lighted up top. All right, I'm gonna fast forward through all this, so stand by, guys. Right, now what we have is we are having, oh, so I never put it on. So guess what I just realized? I'd say that the audio sounds a hundred times better now. Yeah, I had this little microphone on right here, forgot to plug it in my camera. I'm not gonna do a voiceover, I'm sorry, but we're ready to rock and roll. Let's try this out now. All right, remember what I said before. Hopefully you heard everything I said. We have a lighted switch here. We have the power off. We're gonna turn the power back on here in a second, which means we're going to plug it in. And we're gonna see if indeed these light up. Let's see. All right, imagine you're coming in your garage. Now you have a chance. You guys can see what I see. You see the little light on the three-way? Well, let's walk over there and see. So you know where the switch is, right? Let's walk over here. Make sure I don't break my neck because I have a lot of lighting in here also that's hooked up along with my camera and whatever else. All right, let's see. And I found it. And you can see how crappy the lighting is now. But I did find the light. And then there is the other light over there. I don't know if you guys can make that out or not, but it's definitely lit up. Super simple, right? An easy swap out. It'll save you. I know it's not going to light your whole path, obviously. It's just a little light as you saw. Now, I do have a pretty good lens on here now. So it's obviously not going to see it right now, but you could definitely see it. Well, if you're in the pitch dark, you're going to see it, guys. They do make one in single pull also. Now, I didn't hook it up here, obviously, because I have three ways. But um, anyway, uh, yep, this is, this is what it is right here. It's a single pull here. There's the three ways. Easy peasy. Change them out, and you'll be able to see easy. What? All right, guys, if you have any questions about this, like I said, all of the links for the switches, all the tools I use, the Klein strippers, the Kleins, the screwdriver, Milwaukee screwdriver, will all be down below in the comment section. So guys, go check it out. Uh, also down there, I have links to a lot of different things that you might be interested in. Um, my Patreon's down there. I have a PayPal down there. And if you want to send me anything to review, to try, just to say, hey, uh, go F yourself, just feel free to do it. PO box is down in the, in the comments below. Guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day, guys.